Welcome to the Cyprus News from FinancialMirror.tv. Bank of Cyprus and Marfin Popular Bank have slashed their deposit rates sharply lower, with the three- and six-month fixed deposit rate now at 4.25%, down 175 basis points from the 6% rate offered only three weeks ago. The one-month fixed deposit was quoted at 2.75%, while the 12-month fixed deposit is now quoted by the two largest banks at 4%. Bank of Cyprus has proposed the final dividend for 2008 at 12 cents per share. The total of the proposed dividend and the interim dividend of 15 cents a share, which was paid in December 2008, amounts to 27 cents, down from 43.80 cents paid for 2007. According to Financial Mirror calculations, the dividend yield on the total $0.27 dividend amounts to 14.6% based on current prices, while the yield on the $0.12 final dividend amounts to 6.5%. Bank of Cyprus reported total net profits of 502 million euros, up 4% compared to 485 million euros reported in 2007. Earnings per share amounted to 85.5 cents. Meanwhile, the Bank of Cyprus board has decided to proceed with the issue of convertible capital securities of up to 645 million euros in an effort to further strengthen its capital. The capital securities will be issued at par and offered via a priority right to all registered shareholders in the ratio of 11 convertible capital securities for every 10 shares held as at record date. The convertible capital securities will bear a fixed annual interest rate of 5.5% for the first five years with the conversion price set at 5.50 euros per share. Tourism and business ties between Iran and Cyprus are expected to increase and get closer when direct flights between the two countries are established, according to the Islamic Republic's ambassador to Cyprus. The ambassador told the Financial Mirror that following the signing of a bilateral treaty on avoidance of double taxation between the two countries, there will be increased interest among Iranian business people to come to Cyprus and for Cypriots to visit Iran in order to develop potential businesses there. The volume of trade between the two nations is very low, currently only 7 million euros in 2008, but the ambassador is confident that with the implementation of the avoidance of the double taxation agreement and the launch of direct flights, a new chapter will open between Iran and Cyprus. With only days left before the Tenders Review Authority issues its decision as to who will win the contract for the development and expansion of Larnaca Marina and Port, it has emerged that the whole process could be declared null and void because of rampant irregularities allegedly committed by state officials involved in evaluating the bids. The design, build, finance, operate project named Larnaca Port and Marina Redevelopment is the most important infrastructural work in the town after the new airport that will open in November this year and will set Larnaca apart as a tourist destination in its own right. The project, when completed, will link the marina with the port and transform Larnaca into the main passenger hub of Cyprus with the possibility of catering to large cruise liners. The marina itself will be able to accommodate some 800 to 1,000 yachts far greater than the current capacity of 250 vessels. Demis Karapatakis described the disqualification of his consortium as the biggest scandal in Cyprus, since not only the state will lose millions of euros in concessions, but there were rampant violations and irregularities that may lead to a criminal investigation. C&P Marfin Insurance Holdings, the new company created between the partnership between France's leading insurance, C&P Assurance, and the insurance subsidiaries of the Marfin Popular Bank of Cyprus, is counting on the rollout of new savings plans and new bank assurance products to increase its market share in Cyprus and Greece. CEO Takis Fidia told the Financial Mirror that the saving plans and bank assurance products will draw on the expertise and know-how of CNP as well as the CNP Marfin insurance people who have a profound understanding of the way Cyprus and Greece markets operate. The Republic of Cyprus expects to receive 48 million euros from EU solidarity funds to better manage migration flows for the next five years. The Cyprus Minister of the Interior said that the amount of 48 million euros from the External Borders Fund, the European Refugee Fund, the Return Fund, and the Integration Fund is very important for Cyprus, noting that Nicosia has asked the EU for greater economic support due to the increased migration flows towards Cyprus. Thank you for watching FinancialMirror.tv.